Hi, my name is Jack. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about self-development, adulting, and personal finance. And last time, I got a comment about savings account, ATM card, debit card, and credit card. So, nagtanong siya about those, and I find it interesting. So, in this video, I'll be parang nagdo nagdo ako ng more research about it. But this time, I'll just be focusing more on credit card and debit card. Uh, ano yung similarities nila, ano yung difference nila, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of having each card. Okay, explain ko na sa inyo yung functions ng mga cards na to in a very layman's term. So, simple lang naman eh, parehas lang naman yung function of this card. So, this card is used uh, to pay a transaction sa'yo. So, it's either may bibilin ka sa mall or you have to do bills payment. Pwede mo siyang gamitin para bayaran yung transaction mo. So ngayon, what are the difference between these two? So simulan natin muna sa debit card. When it comes to debit card, ibig sabihin lang ito, when yung transaction mo is paid by a debit, ibabawas niya agad yung transaction mo to your own account. So if nakalink yung debit card mo to your savings account or to your checking account, pagka ginamit mo yung debit, it will be automatically deducted sa'yo. So ibig sabihin, sarili mong pera yung pinangbayad mo. While for credit, pagka credit card yung ginamit mo, ibig sabihin, yung transaction mo is paid by lending or borrowing money from your bank. So, ibig sabihin, pagka-credit, utang siya. So, borrow, parang gano'n. Nang hiram ka muna ng perang pinagbayad mo. I hope that simple explanation explains to you yung difference between a debit card and a credit card and yung form of its transaction. Now that we know what are the functions of this card and yung difference nila, let's talk more about its advantages and disadvantages. When you are buying expensive items like appliances, gadgets, and furnitures, you might want to explore yung payment options mo with your credit card because some merchants allows you to have yung 0% interest and it allows you parang to pay it in 12 installments and 24 installments. For example, when I bought yung uh, laptop ko, it cost 30,000. So instead of parang paying it up front ng 30,000, I went up and used yung uh, credit card payment option ko which allows me to, uh, to pay it with no interest and pay it for like 12 months for 2,500 each month. So what it does is it makes parang yung expensive items na more attainable para sa atin because it, it chops it down to parang installment payments while for debit card parang I don't think it's it's possible so so it's uh, an advantage for credit card when it comes to parang yung installment payments. For online shopping, I think credit card payment is a safer way when it comes to uh, fraudulent transaction. So imagine if yung a uh, transaction mo was hacked by a fraudulent uh, yung nga, transaction, uh, pagka kasi credit card hindi siya agad directly mababawas sa account mo. So parang magiging utang mo lang siya and pwede mo pa siyang i-contest. Doon naman sa debit, if na-hack ka and nabawas siya agad sa account mo, Again, uh, pwede mo naman siyang i-contest but diba, imagine yung process ng pagdadaanan mo and may i-liquid ka kasi because automatically madededuct yun sa account mo. When it comes to bills payment, I think pares lang silang uh, good. Both are equally good kasi uh, pares naman may auto credit and auto debit. So parang alam mo yun, parang pag paulit-ulit mo siyang babayaran per month, pwede automatic na i-debit na lang sa'yo or automatic i-charge sa credit card mo. And I think uh, both are just equally good and parang yun nga, it makes yung payment ng bills mo uh, very convenient. When it comes to rewards naman, um, I think credit card reward system are better when it comes to debit card because I think use a debit card, wala namang reward system dun eh. So for credit cards, uh, meron sila mga promos that allows you to parang gain miles. So parang if familiar kayo sa mabuhay miles na credit card, I don't know credit card yun, but for PAL, ba may mabuhay miles sila. So yung uh, points na, na, na gagain mo, pwede mo siyang ipang travel. So again, yun nga, uh, there are just more perks when it comes to rewards in terms of yung credit card. When it comes to withdrawing cash, definitely debit card is way better than credit card kasi when you are just withdrawing money using your debit card, if nag-withdraw ka from a different parang bank na nag-issue ng debit card mo, so charge ka lang ng fee na at least 10 pesos to 15 pesos depending dun sa uh, machine na pinag mo. But if nag-withdraw ka dun sa issuing bank ng debit card mo, definitely wala yung fee so libre yung pag withdraw mo. While for uh, credit card, it's a different ball game kasi pag nag-withdraw ka ng money using your credit card, 
there will always be a uh, cash advance fee. So, paano to? So, pag nag-withdraw ka ng amount, so, yung kware, uh, charge ka ng cash advance fee. So, magkano yun? Pag nag-withdraw ka ng amount using your credit card, it will be multiplied to 3 to 5% ng withdraw mong amount. Or, kaya naman, 300 to 600 pesos uh, per withdrawal, depending kung ano yung mas malaki dun sa dalawang yun. Kung alin mas malaki doon, yun yung i-charge sa'yo. Okay, summarize natin yung mga advantages and disadvantages. So, please let me use yung uh, uh, cheat sheet ko dito sa gilid. So, if tumitin ako dito, it means uh, ginagamit yung cheat sheet ko. So, when it comes to uh, installment payment, obviously, credit card wins. When it comes to online shopping, I think it's uh, for credit card again. When it comes to bills payment, I think they're just uh, equal. So, both are good. When it comes to reward system, I think credit card is preferable. Uh, when it comes to cash withdrawal, debit card, obviously, uh, isa pa pala, hindi ko na mention kanina, uh, when you're building yung credit score mo, obviously, it is uh, a good thing for having yung credit card kasi yung credit score allows you to parang uh, have loans sa mga banks or parang kasi, di ba, parang it gives you yung, uh, parang i-gauge ka ng bank eh. if maganda yung credit score mo, So, mas malaki yung chance mo na makautang with a lower interest. So, so yun, it's a big advantage for having credit card. Uh, yun pala, isa pa, renewal fee. So, for uh, credit card, may mga renewal fee sila. So, it's either annual or every 3 years, every 5 years, depende. For debit card naman, wala ang renewal fees. By paper, titina mo, there are a lot of advantages of having a credit card. But in reality, most people na mayroong credit card are in a disadvantage. So, bakit ganun? So, simply lang. A lot of people uh, uh, lack yung discipline when it comes to handling their finances. And when it comes to credit card, if you don't handle your finances well, parang it will parang double yung pain mo. So, bakit ganun? So, when it comes to credit card kasi, there is this called na yung minimum amount dyo mo. So, yung minimum amount dyo mo is yung minimum amount na kailangan mong bayaran para lang ma-maintain yung card mo. So, if yun lang yung binayaran mo, eh, hindi yung total outstanding balance mo, uh, yung difference nung minimum amount dyo mo to yung uh, total outstanding balance mo, yung difference nun, if dumagpas ng due date mo na, uh, it will cost you interest. So, alam mo yun, parang mas mahal yung babayaran mo dun sa supposed to babayaran mo lang. Another is, when it comes to due date, people tend to procrastinate when it comes to paying yung bills nila sa due date nila. So, when it comes to credit card, pagka lumagpas ka, sa due date mo, uh, yung outstanding balance mo will be penalized with interest. So again, uh, instead of ito lang yung mo, you will have to pay it with interest pa. When it comes to credit card, there are only three things na kailangan mo tandaan para sa akin. So una doon is yung cut-off date, next is due date, next is yung total amount due mo. So yung pares lang yung sa total at outstanding balance mo. So una, what is uh, yung cut-off date? For example, yung cut-off date mo is every 10th of the month. So, everything after nun, so from 11, parang it will be built na dun sa next uh, due date mo. So, everything na mo after 10, hindi siya uh, kasama dun sa current uh, due date mo. So, para sa next na yon. So, yung due date mo naman, ano yun? Yun yung date na kailangan mo mabayaran yung current na due date mo. So, for example, 30th yung due date mo. So, on or before 30th, dapat mabayaran mo na lahat ng kailangan mong bayaran. Last tip na when it comes to credit card, I suggest parang build a system or a habit sa pagbabayad ng due mo. So, for example nga, dun sa example ko, yung due date mo is 30th. So, I suggest 10 days prior to your due date, simulan mo nang bayaran yung due mo. Para alam mo yun, uh, hindi ka na mahasal, hindi ka ma-charge yan pagka na procrastinate ka. So, bakit 10 days? Kasi para sa akin, parang at least doon may buffer ka pa. So, if yung due mo is parang, let's say, 25th, 15th, magbayad ka na. So, parang give at least 10 days prior to your due date. So, yun. That's just it. Uh, when it comes to credit card, uh, mas maganda yung maagap ka. May final verdict when it comes to credit card and debit card. If ikaw yung tao na walang discipline and lagi ka lang din nagkaka-interest sa credit card mo, better not to have a credit card and just stick to a debit card kasi when it comes to debit card, hindi ka magkakautang, walang interest. Alam mo yun, parang it's your own money, hindi ka gumagamit ng pera ng iba. So, for people who uh, parang lacks the discipline of yet of uh, yun nga, managing their finances, I suggest stick muna kayo to debit card and don't have a credit card. But if you're confident na to handle yung mga paghiram ng pera, yeah, maybe, come on. 
pwede na siguro sa inyo yung credit card. I hope I was able to inform you with new knowledge with regards sa personal finance. If you want to parang learn or read more about this topic, I'll put a link below dun sa reference na ginamit ko. And also, parang uh, let me know sa comment section below kung ano pa yung gusto nyo malaman or parang what you want me to make video out of. So, it's either sa topic sa adulting, sa uh, personal finance, uh, self-development. Uh, if parang I find something relatable to or interesting, I could probably make a piece or a video out of it. So, yun, please uh, do leave a comment. Lastly, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button in this video and also subscribe to my channel. It would really parang help uh, build the future of this channel. In lang. So, that's it for this video. I hope you, you have a great day. Alright, that's it. Peace. Bye! Thank you.